Hello everyone, welcome back to IT Security Labs. And today I have an exciting lab that I have to show you guys. It's the BGP hijacking lab. This is a very simple lab that I will show you guys how BGP hijacking works. And it's courtesy of our friends at Mini, Mini Net Labs. They have a wonderful um, script scripted lab that they've created for us. And today I will show you how exactly an attacker does the BGP hijacking attack. Before we start the lab, I just wanted to explain why we should care about BGP hijacking. BGP is the traffic of the internet, for those who don't know, and it can be used for all kinds of things, including stealing traffic from other providers to steal money. It's not just Bitcoin, as you can see on this screen. People can redirect traffic that uh, is meant for a Bitcoin wallet to their own wallets if they can uh, intercept BGP. If you don't fully understand what BGP is, it's the internet routing protocol. And you send your traffic from your house to your provider and your provider uses BGP to send to the next provider and the next provider does that and so and so until the traffic reaches the end. If at some point somebody takes over that BGP traffic and they can point it in any direction. Uh, recently, there was another problem with BGP. It wasn't hijacking per se, but it was mostly BGP traffic uh, going somewhere which it shouldn't, mostly because of an employee error. So that was mostly a leak instead of a hijack. So I just wanted to clarify that. Now that we have that, let's start our lab. Our lab consists of um, these devices. This is my router, R1, and this is the lab topology. In the lab topology, you can see that we have AS1, this is a legitimate uh, service provider, AS2, another legitimate, and AS3. AS3 right here is hosting a web server. So if you have a client on AS1, we're sending traffic to the web server on AS3, they will be able to do that through AS2. However, if an attacker manages to intercept the BGP traffic before it even reaches here to AS2, they will be able to just host their own web server and redirect people to their malicious web server. That's what I'll be showing you. There are very few ways that uh, they can do that and it's mostly manipulating the BGP path. You're just telling uh, this router, the edge router here, that the path to the web server that you're looking for is shorter when you come to me. On R1, if we do a show IP BGP, you see that our path, first one is us, that's the local, then um, the next one is through dot 12, which is AS2, and the third one is uh, 13. And to get to 13, we're going through two, then to three. That's the current setup. But right now we want to be able to uh, connect to the web server from client one. So let's assume client one is down here. And client one wants to connect to the web server. So we just go to the directory that's containing our scripts. So this is a scripted lab. And then we just run the web server. This is what's in there. And the web server script to connect to the web server is website. This is pretty much a loop uh, connection to the web server. It's a very simple script. As you can see, on our client, we're going to the correct web server. It's called the default web server. I would like us to monitor that because on this tab here, we're going to start our rogue ISSP. They were going to start, this guy is going to start advertising routes here so that we are hijack that connection. So we just start, um, we switch the directory 
and to start the rogue as here we just uh, run the rogue script as soon, as soon as it starts I want you to observe down here we are going to start going to the malicious attacker web server as you can see now we're going to the attacker web server if you go back to r1 you will notice that our big show ip bgp has different entries let's do it show ip bgp and as you can see now we have different results compared to what we had up there we only had 9.2.0 and now look we have 9.0.4.2 which is the attacker so we changed our routes and we're now going to the attacker so this is how bgp hijacking goes as far as the clients are concerned they're still going here but the attacker is taking over that's how people are able to steal people's bitcoin wallets and all other web traffic and as soon as we stop you see that we go back straight to the default the regular one and if we go back here we can see that our show ip bgp is now showing just a real one so that's how we for a short period of time hijacked bgp traffic to send traffic to an attacker's uh, as number so if this is your first time please subscribe to this channel we have more demos like this where i'll be showing you how these uh, skills can be gained it's great to be able to see th to learn things through doing compared to just reading about it so subscribe and like to this video and i'll see you guys in the next wonderful demo